The following programme, produced and funded by My Face, My Body, is also partly funded by Cellulase, iGuide, Zoom and Resell. Welcome to My Face, My Body, the show that aims to answer all your health and beauty questions. In this series, we'll be travelling the length and breadth of the UK to bring you the very latest cosmetic and beauty treatments on offer, answering all the questions your body needs to hear. So, what does wooden barrels like these have in common with the oldest woman in Scotland? All will be revealed later on in the show. Coming up on this show, we look at the worst bits of our body and popular cosmetic surgery and non-surgical treatment options. We look into lasers, no, not the ones you see on the James Bond movies, but lasers that can do some pretty amazing things to our body. And we go to Newcastle to find out what people's tastes are for beauty treatments. Welcome to the My Face My Body news this month. A great grandmother boosted by a boob job is now dating men as young as 24. 65 year old Joan Lloyd has been unhappy with her breasts her entire life and finally got the op of her dreams this month. She enhanced her assets from a size A all the way to a size F and says the op has given her a whole new lease of life. She has now had dates with men aged from 24 to 50, and the pensioner from North Wales says she's never been happier. Celebrity Big Brother contestant Darren Lyons' fake six-pack has created a storm of attention in the media. The controversy centres around the fact that to achieve his six-pack, Lyons didn't shed one bit of sweat in the gym he didn't perform one single sit-up or attempt a crunch. No, instead he paid £6,000 for an operation, which he's called the male version of a boob job, and what surgeons call vasa high diff. The operation itself removes strips of belly fat by liposuction in an attempt to create the illusion of a washboard stomach. And while fellow contestant Paddy Doherty called it the bees knees, Twitter was less complimentary and compared him to a teenage mutant ninja turtle. Well, that's all your news this month. So what do wooden barrels have in common with the oldest women in Scotland? You guessed it, whiskey. I'm here at the Glenfiddich Distillery in the north of Scotland with Louise, who's going to tell us a little bit more. Hi. <laughs> um, well, the founder of Glenfiddich, their granddaughter is actually still alive. She's called Janet, and she's 110 years old this wow. year, which makes her one of the oldest women. Um, and it is said that it's due to the marvellous powers of whiskey, and specifically Glenfiddich whiskey, that is kept her alive until today. But whiskey itself, the name whiskey, comes from a Gaelic word, um, it actually means water of life. So oh, that's wow. got a little something to do with it as well. Well, I'm sure most of our viewers would agree, none of us like to age. However, yeah. whiskey seems to get better with age. Yeah, that's true. The, for whiskey to be called whiskey, it has to stay in the cask for at least three years. Um, but obviously, the longer the whiskey is in the cask, the more flavour it's going to be. The oldest whiskey that we sell is a 50-year-old. Um, but there has been older, I think it's around a 63-year-old whiskey that we sold. Wow, yeah. okay. And that can't be cheap? No, definitely <laughs> not. They go for around £10,000 when they're at that point. Now, I heard uh, that whiskey is also um, good for some sort of body benefit. I've heard of this thing called uh, a hot totty. Is that right? Well, it's actually called a hot toddy. Oh, hot toddy, um, sorry. And when people are just feeling a little under the weather with the cold or the sniffles, they'll add a little bit of whiskey into their hot drink and it'll make them feel a little bit better. Wow. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's some great facts about whiskey. Now, if you want to find out 
any more information on any of the topics on this series, go to myfacemybody.com and don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. I think I'm going to enjoy another glass of whiskey and I'll see you next time.